Hey, Don here. This is my video series on the XBMC solution for the Raspberry Pi by Element 14. There will be several videos in this uh, series, so catch them all. And uh, thanks for watching. Hey, Don here. And uh, this is going to be my review of the uh, XBMC solution, which is a kit to uh, with a wireless keyboard let me get this thing out wireless keyboard and uh, I've already gone through all the parts before but real quick um, 4 gigabyte SD card with uh, uh, RAS BMC on it uh, for running XBMC on the Raspberry Pi you got your charging cable for your keyboard. I've already charged it. HDMI cable. Can't use that because I got an old TV. Uh, I don't. I won't be using this Cat5 cable right now because I've got one laying right here that's already hooked up to my router. There's a little quick start guide in there. I've already went through everything on another little video so I won't go through it all again but uh, let me put this up here now let's uh, get things in place and this is the first run I've never turned this thing on never hooked it up yet only thing I've done is test that I got a good signal from my composite line going to my VCR I gotta re-aim my little laptop camera. Ooh. Okay, that's about as good as it's gonna get. Now, these are my parts. Everything looks funny, doesn't it? I'll leave that there. That looks like a good place for it. Okay. Now here's my Raspberry Pi. Seen that before. Um I've already read through all the quick start guides and all that sort of thing, so I got it down, I believe. Um, let's see. Now this is my, uh, one of the, of course, more, most important part is your power supply. And that is the one I got. It's an Adafruit. I kind of had it specially made uh, for the Pi. Uh, they did some checking and Discovery on these things. The output is 5.25 volts. It volts. It one it volts the VDC at one amp. And most of them that people have been using are for phones and stuff like that. And they're uh, five volts even. And then when you put a few things in the, uh, especially if you use uh, in the USB, it's only only two on here. But you know a lot of people want more, and they they use a hub USB hub. It drops the volts down below. Uh, I think it's four point. 78 or something like they said makes the pie act up uh, do, do weird things uh, they say um, I think it shuts down sometimes so I got this one after about four days of reading and searching it has to have uh, you can get them that have the cable just made into it but this was the only one that had the specs that I wanted I'm not paying much attention to where my hands are am I um, this is the only one that had the specs that I wanted that I could find at a good price. Some of them were too powerful and I didn't want to blow up my pie. So, <clears throat> I'll hook that up in a minute. But I wanted to show you that. Oh, um, the thing about the, the uh, in case if you have, if you're like me and you're new to this, I don't even have a mobile phone, so, uh, I have, you know, my mobile phones had barrel connectors back when I had one, and I haven't had one for years. But this, um, this connector is called, I don't know if I can get it to where it can be seen or not, there. That's a, uh, micro, not a mini, a micro USB-B. This is the small, you know, the small one, if I can get it in the right place. There we go, that's the micro USB B male. And this is the normal. The other end is the normal it's called a USB A. 
that fits into the charger. So, and when you plug in the board, it boots up. When you unplug it, of course, it, un it unboots. Now, here's a little, uh, here's what I, a little bit about what I was talking about. This happens to be something I already have. It's, uh, you may have seen these before. It's a backup battery. It's a quick charge battery, basically. I don't imagine I'll use this on the Pi, but uh, what I wanted to show you was the comparison. Here's the little cable that comes with it. I don't know if you can see it well enough. But uh, it's a little bit different. It does not fit into the Pi. That's a mini USB. They're really about the same size. I think that's the mini USB. It could be... I did a bunch of reading and I can't remember every little thing. It could be a B but a different configuration of the B. But anyway, what you do with this is you plug it. You plug it in there and then you would plug it into your whatever it is. You could run the Pi off of this if you had the right cable, which actually, guess what I do? I could plug this this cable that I bought from my charger. I'm not going to plug that up because this has probably got power in it. Um, I don't want it booting up when it's not when I'm not ready. Uh, I saw a bunch of people, you know, trying to figure out ways to uh, make their Pi portable, and that would certainly look like a good way. I forgot the specs on this. Pretty sure it's five volts and everything. Uh, but it, yeah, this one's five volts. Um, doesn't say the amps. 3.3, 4.3WH. Oh, 1150 milliamps. Yeah, so that's about the same as, if I remember right, about the same as. So that's kind of cool. That's something for me to keep in mind for later. But not now. <clears throat> I just want to use it the way that it's supposed to be. Well, see, it's going to be a permanent installation. I didn't mention that yet, but um, I'll throw this over yonder. Um, the whole reason I wanted, I've been wanting one of these ever since I heard about them in about 2007, I think it was. I'm going to get my uh, card out. SD. Um, I watch all my TV on uh, on the you know on the computer. I have the, the laptop that I'm recording this on. I have XBMC on it, and of course it's a full. Uh, I've been running Linux on all my computers since uh, 2005, and so I'm really into all this stuff. And I've always known about this, you know, XBMC for Raspberry and all that for quite a while. And the cool way to do this in the living room is with a keyboard like this. Because I, in, in my room here, I have a keyboard, I have a computer rack. I can't show it to you right now, but I have a rack, and it has a slide out. Uh, uh, keyboard tray and uh, I can reach from my uh, from my bed <laughs> where I watch TV I can reach my keyboard I can set it over my lap I can reach my mouse without even uh, I can set it on that right there's a fold out mouse tables so uh, that's how I do it uh, and I, I can use XBMC on that or I can use uh, um you know, Firefox web browser. I can watch videos in V. I like VLC, VL, Video Land, my favorite uh, player streamer, and I use it to watch everything that I have on the computer. You know, so uh, there's my Raspberry Pi. I guess the first thing I want to do is get my little. This is already pre. Trying to hold it still. Pre-formatted, four gigabyte uh, SD card. It's pre-form. It's pre-formatted, and it has uh, RasBMC already put on it. Now, you uh, slide him in there. It says uh, make sure that you get it in there good. It sticks out quite a bit. From the pictures I'd seen, I thought it'd just be a tiny bit sticking out. Um, and I've mentioned before, but you know, there's an HDMI on, on that side that uh, would do audio and video, but I don't 
have anything in here anyway. There's one TV in the house, but it's a little 15 inch that has an HDMI. Uh, and it's not going to be the one being used. The one in the living room, it's an old fashioned with. The only thing that, that's on here, you know, that we can use is the composite and uh, the analog. Of course, it, in the analog stereo uh, output, you can use something like this. Uh, that would go to either a longer cable. I, that's that's on there because I used it before, or to your V. What I do is I use VCRs. That's what those. That's what VCRs, analog VCRs, are good for. They make great inputs for your TV because uh, you know you've only got one. If you're lucky that you have one at all, you got one uh, composite video in your TV. Well, VCRs have at least two, most of them, front and the back. So that's what I've got going now. Uh, that's how I get my computer signal. I use S video. Uh, I have I have a VCR that's an, a super VHS VCR. I use the S video cable from my laptop or whatever computer. I had another computer I always used and it kind of died. And uh, somebody gave me this laptop that didn't work and I fixed it. Put uh, running Corora. Linux Corora 17 on the laptop and uh, which is a remix of Fedora 17. Fedora Linux is my favorite distro and uh, I have, XB, like I said a hundred times I think already, I have XBMC on there and I use it all the time. It took me about two days to get all my apps set up the way I wanted them and get uh, get it really uh, find out and watch through them. You never see what's on each thing. So I've already charged this up. It took 30, 40 minutes, and uh, I didn't really see anything in the little quick start guide. It's over here somewhere. I put it. It's in the box. I've showed it before, um, telling you how to tell when it's charged. But uh, it had three red lights on. Let's see. There were right in this area, I think. And then uh, after a while, one, after about five or ten minutes, one was on. And then after about 40 minutes, 30, 40 minutes, it was. Uh, no lights on so I figured well it's charged oh and there's the on off switch I gotta have a it's off I f hadn't even I hadn't even found that yet it's up here right up here um, that's the charging port um, let's see okay now for our Pi got it hooked up our keyboard. I've never used one of these little keyboards before. It's going to be interesting. And I've got uh, my power here is plugged into a computer rated, you know, power protection circuit. So don't worry, I'm not plugging my Pi straight into the wall. I think what I'll do is put this, I'm going to hook this up. Get it hooked up to the uh, I was trying to decide which one I wanted to put it in. It doesn't okay. Those are the same size, so it's not gonna matter which one you hook it up to so much. Now, I won't plug it into the Pi until the last thing. I have my composite cable ready to hook up. It's a long one. It's a 20, but it's, well, the, it's about 20, at least 20 feet. This is so light that, well, I'll talk later about the, the uh, enclosures I'm going to use. Um, I'm, so I, I've got difference from small to overkill, but, uh, Right now we just want to keep it on the table and I'm going to hook up my uh, Ethernet cable. You're supposed, they tell you to keep, hook that up. Let's see if I can make that stay. No, it's going to, yeah, it'll be all right as long as, I just don't want my pie to slide off. I don't think it'll slide, it won't slide all the way off. Okay, now, they tell you to audio. Okay, I'm going to, I had that plugged into the, laptop but it doesn't matter 
just a 3.5 millimeter and this runs up to my sound system oh yeah I was gonna do it I gotta change my mind that's the one that's gonna stay in my laptop where's the other one I had it right here and it seems to have fallen let me find it that's what happens when you have what happens when you have way too many cables going every which way that's why see this is an S-Video Audio combo that I have it's the one I used to use on my laptop and but I don't send my audio all the way to the TV so I got one that's just S-Video I send my audio to the uh, my stereo send the, just the video to the TV but in this case I thought I'd just send them both that's why I got out this cable that has the RCA mail to mails to connect that up. Let's see. Get this kind of out of the way. I really wanted this to. St well, it's not going to matter if this stays in the picture because I'm going to have. Only way I'm going to be able to show you what's going on on my screen, my TV screen, is to just turn this laptop around in a minute here. So, I'm fiddling with everything like crazy. I used to be a sound guy for bands, and I always had to have my cables just so. You didn't want those stars to be tripping over those cables, you know. I, used, <laughs> I didn't want myself to be tripping over them. Okay. Uh, now, we're ready to boot up. Let's turn this on. Okay, that's on. Oh, it gets lights now. Shows you that it's on. And, uh, it's big enough I can see it with my glasses. And I've already kind of went over the instructions before, so. It's just, let's see. Ah, I use my Ethernet cable to, well, it doesn't matter. I'm thinking, oh, it's going to stay in the, it needs to stay in the picture, but it's not going to matter because here's what I'm going to do. Hang on, I'm going to move my camera around. Oh, it should be showing right now. I've already plugged it up. Yeah, we got power. Oh, I know. Okay, now I forgot something. Um, I don't see any lights on on the Pi, though. It does have an indicator light. You... Okay, I didn't mean to do it. No, I haven't plugged it up yet. Good deal. That's why there's no lights on. No, nobody's home. The lights are off because nobody's home. <laughs> up here. Okay. Yeah, this is my plan, and I'm sticking to it. When I plug that up, I won't show that on the little camera because uh, I want to show the screen on the camera. Okay, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to plug this up. I'm going to plug him up. One way I can't see from my angle whether that's going to have to go that way or that way, but I'll figure that out. Okay, I'm going to turn the uh, laptop around. Um, that's the best I can do. I can't zoom a laptop built-in webcam, so... Uh-oh, my... My, uh keyboard timed out and shut itself down okay that's a good thing though you don't want your battery going down before you even get started watching TV now okay I'm gonna ready set go Ooh. okay look at that you got you got pie actually that means I see it I didn't hit four. That came. That R came up before I hit four. I wonder if I just made it go wrong or something. No, there it is. Luckily, I can. Okay, let me turn around. Or I can look at the TV. I'm looking at the TV in the video screen. Oh yeah, there it is. Coolness. Yeah, I can see it better looking at the actual TV. I was looking at it in my... See, I have my regular monitor set up to where I can... Uh, I have a KVM switch and... Uh, Four-port KVM switch and I have my uh, 
laptop plugged into the VGA so that I could see when that was angled down and all that at the table I could see oh it's doing its thing I can't read that let me go over there. Yeah, it's doing like they said. It's updating. And it's downloading kernel binaries. It says. I wonder if I could see that. I can see that a little better with my glasses off. I'm far-sighted, so these are actually dollar store glasses that I'm uh, wearing. So, but I can lift them up and see far away better than I can with them on. Gonna have to wait on that. It says press a key, huh? It did it automatically. I think it rebooted to up do those updates. This would be the important part not to uh, interrupt. You wouldn't want to interrupt a kernel update on a Linux system, I believe. This is a, a built off the Bane, if I remember right which is my second favorite lim Linux uh, distro. Okay, it's still probing something. Okay, it's about to boot up. Okay, now it's doing something again. Oh, uh, well, they said in the quick start guide to uh, let it do its updates. Yeah. <coughs> so I haven't uh, interrupted that I'm just jabbering while it does it it's a nice looking little R and nice looking uh, that, that background is a bubbly looking thing that's different than the uh, one, than the one I've been running you know what it says something about press escape key. I wonder if I should be paying more attention. I do this junk all the time, day, uh, every day. This one's a different Fedora distro, so it's become so commonplace that sometimes I don't pay enough attention. Let me get over there and see if I can read that. It says patching root file system. It's still working on the update. Taking longer than really expected. I guess I'll find out here in a minute if I'm not paying enough attention. It's still just doing this no up normal updates. I just didn't think they'd take this long. It didn't make it sound like it would take all that long. Let me go over there again. Yep, yep still doing normal updates. Well, at least now we know what it takes to uh, get what it takes when you get one of these up and running it's pretty darn cool that it's automatic though especially like if you were new, new to Linux and and uh, 
are new to prototype boards. This is not exactly a prototype, I don't guess, but uh, I'm fairly new to prototype boards. Uh, I do have a couple of t Texas Instruments prototype boards that I've played with a little bit, <coughs> but uh, I don't. I'm not a programmer. I don't know how to do that. But I want to. Well, I don't think I can really do programming. I, I have trouble. I have enough trouble with my English, I don't think I'd learn another language, <laughs> but I took a Python class and I somewhat kept up, but, oh, that's a different picture, look at that. How cool is that? They want you to know what that is. Now, I think that's it. I kind of like that, because red's my favorite color. You might can tell by seeing what's at the bottom of that picture. Of this, of this video. Okay, my problem is I don't th I can't see the keyboard <laughs> without my glasses. So that's the only thing drawback to these small ones. But I mean, I use a full size, a big keyboard. I like these big keyboards, but uh, I use a big keyboard with my uh, watching TV. But you know, I can set it on my lap or leave it kind of over. I usually set it on the bed beside me and just reach over to it. You just use a couple of keys and mostly the mouse, but uh, if you're sitting in the, this is going to be in the living room, and this whole deal here, my whole aim with all this is to, uh, this is going to be a setup for my mom to use, so, in, in the living room, <coughs> so, um, you know, she needs something light, so this is perfect. Now, I would like to be able to show the keyboard and <clears throat> tell you what I'm going to go over there and get kind of in the picture and show the keyboard while I do this but I will be able to carry my microphone with me you've seen that big microphone so uh, watch for a minute <coughs> Well, the best blade plans. Guess what? I'll show you. Guess where that goes? That's right, into the pie. Okay, let's see what happens. You know, computer, regular computer, you can just plug a USB in and have it work. I'm going to plug it in and see, I might have to reboot this thing. So, you know, that uh, whole thing about me hitting a four, it wasn't doing anything anyway, so. There. I think, yeah. Okay. Did it reboot? Well, I guess that was just what it does when you plug it in. It might have rebooted it. I'm thinking that R is a reboot signal. A boot screen. <coughs> Hope that wasn't a bad idea. Okay, it went black, so yeah, I would say it was. Uh, well, I got the keyboard off. I did that a minute ago. Now, I didn't get rebooted though. That's what it looks to me like. Unless it went to sleep because I didn't do anything. There it is. It did say it would boot up pretty quick once it. Let me go see what that said.
Yeah, I did a, I did a bad thing. <coughs> um, don't plug any USB stuff in while it's running, evidently. I think it said that in the instructions, too. It said plug everything in first. I just forgot about that part, and I thought I'd treat it like a regular computer. Um, that says, I'm going to hit the OK button. There we go. Keyboard works. OK. <coughs> well, this is so little you can't see it on the screen, so I'm just going to stay here where I can talk. Um, yeah, so it said I set it down wrong. It, what it did is when I plugged that in, it rebooted it, which is seems kind of odd, but that's what it did. Okay, so I'm using the arrow keys, videos, files. Uh, I can't read that from here, but I know this menus fairly well, so I'll start with this. Okay, f videos. Those are files, which there aren't any. First run help. I'm not going to bother to read that. <coughs> now that got in a spot where I can't see it too good. Oh, I know what that is, though. Uh, one cool thing about... Let's see. Yeah, one cool thing about Raspberry uh, XBMC is that you can navigate it with the keyboard pretty easy. I hit escape to get out of that. Uh, Add-ons, that's where the only thing that's really going to be. There doesn't seem to be any installed. <coughs> where I'm sitting, I can't see the far left of the screen. Well, I can't read it anyway. Let's see. Oh, that helps. Okay, well, I'm just going to try that first one. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but... Yeah, that's all the ones that are already installed. And that little twirling thing down the bottom right shows that it's bringing in. I'm going to have to go over there where I can see it, though. But it's going to be just big enough where it can be read from straight on. I'm way off to the side. Let me go over there. I can't read it all that good, and some of it, some of the letters are missing on the far left. That's where part of my problem is. I'm gonna hit. Uh, okay, yeah, that was the install screen. Install on install screen. <coughs> I might have to just get myself around there where I can see. That's what I probably ought to do. This microphone is not comp It's on a stand, that's why I didn't want to move it. And, and it's all my cables wrapped up around the stand, but um let me get out of there. Hit escape again. Oh yeah, you do have mouse buttons. I forgot about that. I'm gonna go back through the menus, pictures. There's not any pictures in there right now, of course. Okay, weather. You can set your local area. It's not set right now. And um, get your weather. It works pretty good. Let's see. Um, music. There's no music in here right now. There are some streaming apps. But you can do files and you can do the apps. And uh, well, let me go back in there again. Oops. Hit the wrong button. <coughs> yeah, see, there's something. Let me see what that says. That's, it was install. Okay, it def I thought it defaulted to install. <coughs> I really wasn't gonna. I thought there'd be stuff already installed. When you install XPMC on a computer, there's a bunch of apps already installed. 
Okay, let's see, I'm gonna get out of there. Get out of there. After you install something, I guess there's just no way to do this if you really can't read it. I don't have that good of a memory. Programs. System. So what I'll do, I'm going to put it back on the video because what I really wanted to do is get it to stream. Um, let me try that. <coughs> get closer where I can see it. Okay. I'm going to, yes you can run this. Programs. I'll go in there for a second, but the problem is, I don't know if you can tell it from the video, yeah, you're kind of almost as bad of an angle as I was when I was sitting in my chair, I was even further over. Problem is, the uh, settings, five. okay, I'm going to go to settings. The screen resolution isn't exactly right. This is all your settings. Uh, now, which is better, glasses or no glasses? Playback, subtitles, DVDs, library. Playback, there it is. I think maybe I wanted to get it playing a video to see how it sound, how it looks and sounds. Let's play. This is a, probably a newer version of XBMC, I'm guessing, than what I've been running. Because I am running an older operating system. They sure get old fast, don't they? Something about the Bane it does. Well, this is, like I said, I think this is the Bane it's running on. And I'm running on for door, so there could be a little bit of doors. Lots of times, same program apps, same programs, a little bit of difference between operating systems, but especially between versions. Because I have I have XBMC on the Fedora 14 system, and it's way different. But uh, I don't see the settings for your ratio. So what I'm going to do is reboot the Pi and see if it. Uh, automatically fixes it because I did have a bad reboot a while ago. Oh yeah, and it tells you to do it from the screen, the keyboard works fantastically. Um, it's fast. I mean, you, you don't even realize you know you're wireless. You don't have to aim it straight at it or anything. Um, let's see, how do you get, oh yeah, there's the little touchpad, there it is. And down here where you can't see it, is, uh, there, that lit it up. That's the exit button, that's why I can't see a, a good quarter, in, half to a quarter inch of the screen, I can't see it. So that's my problem. There, exit, power off system, reboot, that's what I want. I think that did it, <coughs> should reboot. Hopefully that will bring the video, it will automatically set the video size to the right thing. It's set a little bit bigger than my screen. And uh, I have to set it uh, for a regular... TV like this, you have uh, uh, 760, uh, what is it? 764 by 428? Yeah, don't give me on numbers. I know what it is, but I forget. It's not rebooting. I maybe try, this ag try it again.
there's an, uh, on the far left of this keyboard there's um, get it up here yeah it's rebooting now and where's my okay get a little further back on the f on uh, you can see those little mouse pictures get a little closer top one is um, left click and the bottom is right click but there's another one right there can't do it right there and it, but when I used it I must have known it hit something right or something oh there's one on the left and one on the right I was hitting the one on the right yeah that's what it is Just try to get yeah one on the left and one on the right that's why it wasn't working for me it's really pretty uh, I mean I did read through the quick start thing oh it's back up that's a quick boot so uh, yeah I think this is going to be cool because you know when you reboot a computer it takes a lot longer than that even a fast one so I think for watching TV this will be real real convenient I want to get something playing yes I believe it did do what I wanted it to do too Go on the right part. Appearance, video, live music, pictures, other services. System. I just think I was going in the wrong area. Video output. Yeah, see, that's. Uh, I don't know what that is. That's something really different. 722? something well it doesn't matter now if it's right though does it it may have figured out exact right size for the TV because it never was exactly right so 1024 by 768 that's the one I use because it's the only one available no there's still stuff missing on the left yeah so let's get in there okay system this is actually something if you don't already know, you would want to know. Okay. Oops. How do you make it change? Maybe I need to try to mouse it. Oops, I took it out. Now this is this part here is a little different than a regular regular computer mouse system. I mean, I'm learning as I go here. Um, would you like to keep this resolution? Well, I didn't change anything as far as I could tell. Um, no, I want to change it. Try the mouse button again. But I can't get it to change resolutions. It just keeps asking me if I want to keep that. Why don't I set that down there? Okay. Sixty hertz is a refresh rate. That's good. Well, actually, the TV needs fifty. Really, it can work on sixty. I get up there and I try to change it. It won't let me. Oh, hey, let's try it this way. Yeah, like, well, it's a giant mouse clicker, isn't it? Yeah, it wasn't me, it's it's asking me again. Okay, uh I'm gonna try the other left mouse button. Oh 
Okay. It keeps asking me if I want to keep it, but it hasn't actually changed it. Okay, so I don't know. Audio output. I'm gonna leave everything on the defaults there, which is what I want to do. I'm gonna go give it another try. <coughs> Just playing some video. I think I should be able to. Uh, okay, uh, I know what that says. Playlist, video add-ons. Video add-ons. And if you don't already have any, then that's why it automatically goes into the add. Uh, or it did a minute ago. The add a video add-on. There they are. Okay. Um, the thing is, I uh, don't know. Oh, you can see on the right what they are it's just barely readable on the TV screen I'll look for one that I really recognize yeah when you get to the bottom it goes back to the top and if you, so if you want to quickly get to the other end the problem is I can't really tell I think I'm in a different section now. Yeah, I am. I'm out of the video add-ons. You have other, you have program add-ons too. Let me go back. So the little problem here, of course, has nothing to do with the kit. It's just got to do with XBMC. And I remember with this TV when I set up my laptop on it, it took me a while to get. To that's why I started using a laptop because uh, you can look at the laptop screen to be able to read what you're doing. But uh, let's see, what I was looking for is YouTube. I know it's done at the bottom. I tried that. It may have been that that first one if I was in the P I was thinking about PBS I know it works good I can't read them good enough to really unless it's something that I know for sure what it is can't read them good enough on here to know for sure what it is it doesn't really matter but I was thinking if I know what it is, it should work. Because not, not all of them don't work. Or they didn't in the last. They didn't in Fedora 14 or Fedora 17. Sometimes they. Uh, sometimes these uh, streaming. Uh, they're apps, is what they are. Just like put on a phone, you know. And I mean, in the sense of. They're more like an app than uh, a full software, you know. It's all software. But. I call. Uh, Ever since I got into Linux, I call everything apps. But uh, now I'm going to go back to the video screen. Go to Add-ons. There it is, Internet Archive. If you haven't ever heard of the Internet Archive, it's pretty cool. It's got all the stuff. I'm going to hit it. It's got stuff. Uh, I've got uh, it's got stuff from as far back as they started making videos that's available things that aren't these are things that are uh, Creative Commons videos open open source open video uh, like um, what's that trip down Market Street have you ever seen that video that's where it uh, landed um, I actually re sing and record song music, uh, write and sing, and uh, I have all my music on there. Uh, my album's called Dawn Songs. Uh, there's two: Dawn Songs and Living Beings Climate Control. If you wanted to hear me, you can look them up on the Internet Archive. Uh, and I'm Don Bishop. I don't think I ever told my name here. Now this is a list of uh, shows. 
and uh, you can search let's do that I haven't used the keyboard to type on yet let's see I should, might even be able to find you can in here you'll find music or videos I think it, you know when you're in the version I use you have to be in the music section for music to play and the video section for videos to play let's see what happens here I'm gonna type in Okay, Don Songs, that's the name of my one of my albums. If it finds it, we'll try and play it. I don't think it found it. Okay. We'll go back. But that's how the search would work. If it I think I did this before and it didn't find it. Let's just go to the first thing. Well, boy, that was, uh, I was really wondering why that thing wasn't, <coughs> was acting crazy with the installing. Now we know. I was kind of worried about that cable, and I tried to be careful with it, but and all that jiggling around and doing this and that. It came loose. It fits fairly well. I'm going to check it again. It fits fairly well in this, uh, this, uh, Ethernet plug, but I yanked around it hard enough to get it about halfway out. It was still plugged in, but wasn't making connection. It's good to know that the Pi will get a connection back without rebooting. It's not like XP. Okay. Uh, go back. I can't really read those. I'm going to go back to the very first thing. Uh, there we go, movie archive. That's a section. Okay. I couldn't tell if it was a show name or a section. Movie, that's what I was just talking about, all these movies. Probably could have searched for Market Street and found that one, but doesn't really matter. Just to, you know, depending on what's going on on the server and your internet speed is how long this how long it takes for this stuff to come in. And the one show will be quick and the one show will be slow. But just because they take a little bit to load doesn't mean they won't play well most of the time. And then sometimes they'll play one week or day and not play the next. So, of course, that's all to do with the Internet. I don't know what that says really, but... Net, uh, you do have to pay attention to what you click on. Of course, this is the Internet. And the Ar Internet Archive doesn't like have a bunch of really weird stuff, but I want to ask you, you want QuickTime? Do you want uh, all files for download? Torrent file? I'm going to just hit QuickTime because I don't want to download, I just want to watch. I don't remember them um, really even mentioning QuickTime on there. Oh, no, short. Oh, sort by, okay. Data added is fine. It's asking me things. Maybe this is part of the first time setup. I don't think that had anything to do with archive. That's how you sort your videos. Let's go here. Unless I accidentally got into something else. <laughs> Some kind of setup. When I first installed it, it just that kind of stuff was had a default. And you just... Uh, okay, now there's some... This is no V movie. Huh, maybe because the way Internet, Internet Archive hosts a bunch of stuff. They have a... You can download stuff in zip files and different formats and... But I've played videos from there before. Settings for Internet Archive. I guess it wants you to download location. Oh, download location. I'm just going to go with home folder. 
Yeah, I think. Okay. See if we can get down there and say okay. I think that you really did have to set it up. First, probably the first time. I don't want to save videos for now on. I just want to watch them. As a rule, anyway. I can read it well enough. I might have got into a download only section or something. I don't know. But I do know that their uh, videos do stream. Almost, I never seen one that didn't, that wouldn't. But you also have the option to download them. And it's, uh, it's downloading is what it's doing whatever that video was I wanna go now you can, if you're down I've done this before I have purposely downloaded a movie or something an old movie and uh, I have uh, gone and watched something else while something was downloading The thing is, we don't have any more add-ons installed yet, but they do quick, so... What was that? Gold Page Media? Trailers... How stuff works is pretty cool. I wonder if I wasn't paying enough attention while I go to see those big icons up there. Oh, I clicked on the wrong one. I was going to do how stuff works. I don't know what those clips are. You know what? Click on how stuff works. That other video is still downloading. They seem to be uh, put in the queue, though, is what happened. Instead of actually... Well, if you get too much going, you will. I don't, actually, I've never seen it do two things at once like that. So... What's this video going on now or now? I'll, uh, I'll, I'll edit it. Okay, it enabled both of them. That's fine. It, this is a uh, way more quick responsive than I really thought it would be. And I'll, I think I can Where's the other one? Internet Archive, HW Clips. There it is. How stuff works. Oop. How stuff works. Okay, it's easy to hit the wrong thing with those tiny little uh, space you're working in. I think if you get used to it, it won't be bad though. It, it definitely responsive. Stuff you should know. Blow your mind. I remember stuff you should know. Okay, let's. Mom never told you. Okay, I'm gonna go back up to that one because it has a icon that showed up quick now. I can't really read the words there something says looks like it says the second one looks like it says last watched or something but most watched top one is uh, it's a whole list there we go now this is the way YouTube looks when you see its videos you can change that to a list too and for the most part I like the list if, when you can read the screen good but this is good for uh, when you can't read the screen good like on our old TV I clicked on that one. It should start playing. Somebody's singing, looks like. I don't know how well. 
Oh, I won't get audio. This is coming. Audio is coming from the TV. So I'll have to switch my rack switch. When it gets ready to play, I'll switch it. And if it's too loud, I'll... Because that's up on my... Up, I have a uh, speaker switch. Line level speaker switch up there with a the volume. Oh, well, it would be something... But the real star of that show, it is her tongue. Yeah, why is it constantly sticking out of her face? We're going to look to the world of human biology and reptiles. There it is. Okay, that's... Oh, gross. Okay, I don't like that. Um, how do you get out of that? <laughs> there we go. Hurry, change it. I forgot how you get out of something. Let's go back to Internet Archive. Oh, it's still downloading. I'm downloading some movie or something. <laughs> okay, it blew my mind. <laughs> I usually wor watch how you make stuff and build stuff on there. <laughs> I've never seen that before. <laughs> Oh yeah, there is a stop button on all those videos. I just remembered. As a matter of fact, you might have to. Uh, some I don't remember if you can just hit another video and have it start playing, or yeah, I think you can, or you have to hit stop on the previous one. Since I'm downloading a video at the same time as I'm playing videos, I do have a 30 megabits connection, though. <laughs> but uh, these are like, well, uh, most of these are. This has to work as HD. Some of the older ones, you know, they're not such such a large file. Okay, yeah, we're watching something else now. I'll turn the audio back on for a minute. I couldn't get the volume to go down. Yes, It's just. The volume's not going down. I somehow I have a direct line to the speakers. Oh, I know why, because that big speaker's turned up. I have so many different amps and stuff here. Let's see. Let's try that. Nah, I don't remember what's what. I usually control it by the input levels. So I've forgotten how it works. Okay. Uh, there we go. I don't know how well you can tell what kind of picture that is, but that's that's HD on a non HD TV. But okay, um, now I'm going to use the little. There it is. Use the little mouse, the track mouse, and then you can get over there. I'm sure you can do it with the arrow buttons too, maybe. But and then use the stop. And you can navigate that way too if you want to. It's a lot easier with a regular mouse, of course. But you could do it with this. And there's probably times when you'd really need to. <laughs> like in the settings area, I really <laughs> needed to. <sighs> but you can just hit escape to get back to the beginning. Or back to the previous menu from the one you're on. Now, we're at... 22%. I don't know how to stop that, to tell you the truth. I wonder if I can watch it while it's downloading. I've never... I don't know what I did. I couldn't read stuff. But somehow I downloaded instead of just watching. Go back to Internet Archive. See... If, uh, oh boy, 
That microphone is not heavy, but holding your arm up in one position for a long time hurts. Well, it's not coming in at all there. I guess because because uh, I mean it's just sitting there on the ignite arc tab. Well, it's trying to load. Maybe because it's trying. I'm not sure if it's trying to load that video I'm downloading or what. Using my left hand on the little keyboard now. Okay. I would say <coughs> that this is a cool deal. It, uh, it's really easy to use and you can lay it just about anywhere and it makes connection it's not like a regular remote you know where you gotta aim it right at your TV and uh, so that I can hear people talking it distracting me okay um, I don't know if you can hear it or not, but that's what made me go blank. Okay. Um, I think I'll spin this back around. And... Oh, no, I don't... You can't go too low with that or it'll just shut the lid. That's about it right there. Okay, so. Cool deal. That's what's going to make... Well, these two together, actually, the pie. I mean, for $35, and then I had to spend another about almost $10 on the uh, cable. Well, it was more like $8, I guess, or something, on the cable and the power supply. You can't beat that, and and you know you can do more than just run and play TV on these things. You can program stuff. You can run uh, different Pi centric Linux distros and uh, experiment and do all kinds of things. It's um, I never did mention 700, 750 megahertz, and it's the video chip, the video part of the chip that makes it able to play that video. I mean, it'll do the HD on the HDMI cable, you know. But, uh, uh, so, that's cool. And I don't... Oh, yeah. I need to shut it down properly. <laughs> I was fixing to unplug the pie. That's why I came over here. But, um... Yeah, let me... Let me get over there and, uh... Get over here and get out of everything. And shut it down. I don't know what it'll do to that download, but I really don't care. I can't exactly see, but I'm guessing. Oops, can't guess. I gotta go over there. get and now I can see it well enough I'll definitely have to figure out exactly how to set that resolution it took me a while to figure that out last time on this TV but uh, we'll shut him down and uh, that's enough for the first run it will work I made a few boo boos but oh that seemed to do it on its own first escape key for a command line. It says it'll restart shortly. Press escape key for a command line. Well, I don't want to restart. I guess if you accidentally tap on that 
mouse screen, touch screen, it does like a mouse press. Because what I've been doing is kind of picking up my finger as I move it, because you know I get to the end of the end of the space and I have to. I didn't do that though. Didn't reboot. I really don't know. Yeah, it, it'll. You tap on it, it'll do it. <coughs> Power off system. Just like a. <coughs> just like a laptop. <coughs> Okay, that's it. Air conditioner's acting up for the house or something. I'll have to go see what's going on with that.